Well, this morning we're checking out a clock that has stood the test of time. Pauline Lee is live in Amro. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, everyone. Well, yes, I am here in the city of Amaro, and in, in the honor of Daylight Savings Time, we thought we'd check out a really cool clock. Take a look up. Mark, Public Works Director of the City of Amaro, this clock is pretty special. Tell me about it. Yeah, it is. It was installed uh, in 1896 when the building was built. It's a Seth, Tomic, Seth Thomas clock. Mm -hmm. They've built clocks all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, it was installed for $450 at that time. <laughs> um, the building was built for $5,000. Uh -huh. uh, it's a four-face clock. It's pretty unique. Um, and it's it's real special, Rob. Mm -hmm. And so now we have some pictures to show. Way back in the day, when this uh, building was first built, it uh, was kind of back in the day, horse and buggies, but yet not much well, has changed about this clock. It's still hand wound, is that right? The clock is still hand wound. Um, once a week, we have a clock <laughs> tender um, that goes up and winds it and oils it. Um, it keeps real good time. It's within a minute every two weeks. Um, it's all mechanical, mm -hmm. no electrical. Um, it's still in its original shape. So now, why is it that the clock never made the switch to electronic? Why is it still hand wound? They just, they wanted to always keep it in its original shape. Uh, there was talk about uh, switching over, but um, they decided to keep it just as it is, mm -hmm. maintain the heritage of it. And we were talking about it before. There were several times when this building might not have stood here for a while. There were times right, there's been talk. There's been talk that the, to tear the building down, but the communities banded together and, um, and kept it as it is. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's currently a museum mm -hmm. so um, yeah it's a, it's a real big part of Amro. Very very special especially the clock? Especially the clock yeah. yep <laughs> we'll go up and take a look at it later but yeah it's it's a real interesting when the building was built it was built for City Hall mm -hmm. it housed City Hall council chambers um, the jail and the firehouse. It's kind of like a one-stop shop. Yep, mm -hmm. one-stop shop. Well, Mark already alluded to it. We're going to actually go up. We're going to see all of the original equipment. I'm told it still works and it's very sturdy. So get ready for that, guys. Well, behind the scenes look. That'll be fun. Thanks, mm -hmm. Pauline.